In this video, we are going to be learning about similar polygons. Two polygons are similar, and that's the symbol for similar. It's a little squiggly line. If corresponding angles are congruent, congruent means uh, it's the same thing as equal, and the symbol for congruent is the equal sign with the similar symbol on top of it, and if the lengths of corresponding sides are proportional. So below, I have two polygons that are similar. And we have the similarity statement that ABDC is similar to HKGE. And so that is really important. The similarity statement tells us a lot about the two polygons. And so it gives us the corresponding angles. Angle A is going to be congruent to angle H. So notice here I have them both in red to distinguish them apart from each other. And also on the polygons themselves, the angle A has two arcs and so does angle H. So that's an also a way that we could tell that they are congruent to each other. And notice where they're located in the similarity statement. A is first and H is first. So that also tells us that angle A is congruent to angle H. So next we have angle B is congruent to angle K and I have them both in green and then B also has two arcs and K has two arcs so that also tells us that they're congruent and then notice where they're located in the similarity statement B is second and so is, is so is K so that means that the angle B is congruent to angle K next we have angle D is congruent to angle G I have them both in blue and Angle D has one arc, and so does angle G, and so that means that they are congruent. And then also, D is third in the similarity statement, and so is G. So that means that the angles are going to be congruent to each other. Angle D is congruent to angle G. And then last, we have angle C is congruent to angle E. C and E are both in purple, and so C has one arc and E has one arc, so that also tells us that they're congruent. And then C is last in the similarity statement, and so is E. So that also tells us that angle C is congruent to angle E. Also from the similarity statement, and since we know that the two polygons are similar, we'll know that the lengths of the corresponding sides are proportional. So to get the corresponding sides, let's look at the first two sides and their first two letters in the similarity statement AB. So AB, side AB is going to correspond to side HK. So that's going to be our first proportion. And then we're going to follow that pattern to get the rest of the proportions and the ratios. So this is going to be our extended ratio, our ex extended similarity ratio. So AB is going to correspond to HK. And then BD, which is this set right here, is go going to correspond with side KG. And then DC is going to correspond with GE. And then AC, A is the first letter and C is the last letter. And then H is the first letter and E is the last letter. So those sides are also going to correspond. So what this means right here is that the ratio of the side AB and HK that you get when you uh, do 24 over 20, those are all going to be equal to each other when you substitute in those side measurements. Alright, now let's look at scale factor. Scale factor is the ratio of corresponding linear measurements of two similar figures. So we're going to be looking at the polygon that we just looked at. The polygon ABDC is similar to polygon HKGE. So for example, we're going to find the scale factor of a, B, D, C to H, K, G, E. So we're going to be creating a ratio and we're just going to pick two sides to compare. We don't have to do all four because we're not proving that the polygon is similar to each other since we already know that. So we can just pick two sides to compare. So I'm going to just pick the first two, A, B, and H, K. And so I'm going to substitute in those measurements so side length AB is 24, so that's why I put 24 on top. And then HK was 20, and that's why I put that on bottom. And also the reason why I put AB on top is because I'm comparing the polygon ABDC to polygon HKGE. So that's why I put that on bottom, on the bottom. And so then I simplified it down. 24 over 20 simplifies down to be 6 over 5. And so that would be the scale factor for um, 
those polygons. 